Canada, what a decent, beautiful country filled with nice people. Unfortunately, it's now an authoritarian country. Justin Trudeau's government has just outlawed independent journalism in Canada. The government now requires a journalist possess a journalism license. Now, to get that license, the journalists have to report favorably on Justin Trudeau's government. Rebel News, as one of Canada's few honest news outlets, did not get a license. Right, that's called censorship, and it's not surprising. Last year, Justin Trudeau tried to have Rebel News banned from covering a debate in Canada. A judge overturned that ban and allowed a Rebel News reporter inside the debate hall. Here's how Justin Trudeau responded to that ruling. The reality is organizations, organizations like yours uh, that continue to spread misinformation and disinformation on the science around vaccines, around how we're going to actually get through this pandemic and be there for each other and keep our kids safe is part of why we're seeing such um, unfortunate uh, anger and lack of understanding of basic science. And quite frankly, you're, I won't call it a media organization. So you criticize me, therefore you shouldn't be able to talk. That guy's a fascist, just to be totally clear. Ezra Levant is not. He founded Rebel News. He joins us tonight. Ezra, thanks so much for coming on. This is one of those stories, it's just hard to believe, reading it as a longtime fan of your country, that this could be allowed to happen. Have we overstated it? Well, it's not yet illegal to do journalism without that license. It's a government license called the Qualified Canadian Journalism Organization license. A government panel reviews you. They spent one year reviewing Rebel News, looking through more than a hundred of our stories. A panel of five people in secret. We don't even know what they said or did or what they looked at. And they claim that only one percent of our stories are news. So we don't get the license. Now, we're not outlawed, but there's all sorts of sticks and carrots that come with it. For example, just last week, Trudeau announced that he is going to compel Facebook and Google to downrank non-licensed journalists like us and boost his trusted, friendly journalists. So we're going to be hidden, and he's going to compel the Internet giants to punish us. He's also changing the Income Tax Act to punish us. If you have a government license, your subscribers can write off their subscription at tax time. If you're an independent journalist like us, no dice. Uh, of course, there are hundreds of millions of dollars that he is hosing with a fire hose at his trusted licensed journalists, and he's now compelling Google and Facebook to fund journalists, too. So now you've got literally 99 percent of Canadian media companies that are dependent on Justin Trudeau and soon Google and Facebook for a, a huge chunk of their revenues. There's no way those journalists can be free and independent. We're not banned yet, although we are banned from government events, as you uh, said earlier. But I'm worried that he's done all this in two years. The worst is yet to come. He may well ban us yet. Well, if he's forcing the tech monopolies to downgrade your content, I mean, it's a distinction without a difference. You're, effect you're, you're banned from reaching readers. So my question is, what about the rest of Canadian media? They're going along with this? Has anyone at the CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, stood up to defend you? Any of your newspapers no. to defend you? 1,500 Canadian news media companies are on the take. Now, they don't all have these journalism licenses yet, but they're all taking money from Trudeau. He made a special $61 million payment to them right before the election. None of them reported that. 1,500 news media companies cut up a $61 million gift. None of them reported that. So the thing is, since they're in on it, they can't very well report it, and they certainly can't very well object to it. It used to be that the liberals of Canada were for civil rights and free speech and separation of, you know, government and the media. Those days are done. You can really count on one hand's fingers the independent media left in the country, and Trudeau hates them. We were the ones who covered the trucker rebellion, as you know, and, and Trudeau hated the truckers because they were the one group that opposed him. He hates us for the same reason. He seized the bank accounts of truckers without legal process. I'm worried that if he's gone this far in two years, by the time he finishes his term three years from now, I'm worried that he's going to start to treat us like the truckers. I don't know. Will he seize our bank accounts? Will he ask Google and Facebook to delist us altogether? I know that sounds paranoid, but so far he's done everything he threatened he would do. It's China.
And he, they're so fragile. You're one little news organization, and they can't stand any scrutiny. It really tells you a lot. Ezra, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Godspeed, we are rooting for you, for sure. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.